Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. And I'm Connor, and I'm really stressed out. Oh, well, then it's a good thing you're here, because guess what we're going to be making today? On the stress machine. <gasps> stress balls! <laughs> Those are actually really cool. Yeah, it's like the perfect thing to get your stress out. So you want to learn how to make one? <laughs> Do you feel less stressed already? Marginally. Okay, we'll keep playing with it. So, here's what we need to make our own stress relieving balls. You're going to need a funnel, a half decent sized funnel. And this is a pretty big one. And the bigger the, the nipple part, the better. This is really important. You're going to need sand. You want some scissors. And these are 11 inch balloons. You're going to want to have at least three 11 inch balloons per stress ball. And then for extra fun, you might want some Sharpie markers. So here's what we're going to do, Connor. The first thing we want to do. Can I name him Timothy? <laughs> you can name him. Tim Tim Timothy the stress relieving. Kind of looks like a tomato, doesn't he? he Timothy the tomato stress reliever. Exactly. We just need a little like red. A little, a little green. Newbie. Yeah. Okay. So first thing you're going to do, take this balloon and put it all the way on to your funnel nipple. So you got to open it up a little bit and then just all the way down. Until it hits the, the bottom yeah, part. Yeah, exactly. Like that. That's it. Now this is going to be the most important thing is that you hold on to this part while you're doing this. So you're going to take your sand and I've got my sand here in a um, measuring cup makes it easier because you just pour it in but you can use just any old you know, plastic cup or anything like that, regular cup. Okay, so you want to pour it in and you're going to see that it's going to get to a certain point where it won't be able to take any more sand. So here's what you want to do, Connor. You want to put it down on the counter. You want to take your, take your um, funnel, kind of push it in, and you want to shake it, right? Just shake it. And then pull this up. But you want to hold on to this nipple part of your balloon because you need to pull and smush and pull and smush and pull and smush. That's it. Ooh, now see, you want to make sure you're holding on to this nipple. Oh. Yeah, that part, because that's super, super important. Or else all the sands can spill Exactly. Like everywhere. It could, yeah, that's okay, though. You got it. So pull and squish, and pull and smush. There you go. Oh, wow. Okay, so now it all went down in. Now, you could leave it at this size if you want, but I like to add a little bit more to mine. You make it as big as you want here. So you just add a little bit more of your sand. But you might need some stretchier balloons. Well, actually, you know, it's, it's funny, but an 11 inch balloon is all you really need here. But the main thing is make sure you're holding on to that really tight so that you pull and see when you pull, it releases some and then you smush, you make more room. Pull and smush, pull and smush, pull and smush, pull and smush. Pull and smush. Make and a song out of it. <laughs> and pull and, and smush. smush. I feel, like, I feel like I'm milking a cow kind of. <laughs> okay, so when you get it all the way down, so that it's all the way down in there, you kind of sh give it a good shake to make sure there's no sand in here. And pinch it off right at the bottom there. And now you can release this. And now you roll it off of there. Ah. All right. I'm going to put this over in front of you. So, that didn't go so well. squish it down. Oh, that's why you wanted to pull it up and just make sure that you got all that sand. There you go. That's it. You might want to do this over like a paper towel. That's true. Yeah, you could cover your work area or you could do this outside. Or maybe on a table you really don't like. <laughs> like that one that Aunt Marge gave you. Okay, so now that you've got this all mushed in, what you want to do is pull this up. How are you doing in getting yours mushed down in there? I think it's almost done. Right? Yeah, pretty, good. pretty good. Okay. So now what you want to do is pull this up and wrap it around and tie it off. So you want to pull it, wrap it around, tie it off. Try to make sure that you don't have any sand in this part that you're tying off. And what I like to do is tie a double knot. So tie it once and then tie it twice. Um. And I know that's going to leave a little bump, but that's okay. That's going to become our nose on our stress ball. Oh, so... No. So don't get worried about that. So they're all going to be personified. They could be personified. They are going to be balloons personified or stress personified. Okay, now what we're going to do, see this little nipple? We're going to cut that little bit off where we cut, where we had tied it off on the second one. We're going to cut it off right there, pretty darn close to the edge there. So he doesn't have a really long Pinocchio nose? Exactly. You doing okay there? Now you could 
technically leave your stress ball at this point, but you want to make sure that it's going to stay solid and not ever explode leaving sand all over your house because that would make your, like I know it would make your mom pretty upset with it me. It would make me really upset. <laughs> yeah, actually it would probably make you more upset than your mom, wouldn't it? So Because I'd be the one who has to clean it up. <laughs> or make your brother chase to it. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another balloon and I like to do an opposite color, a different color, not the same color, but you could do them the same color if you wanted. And this is what we're going to do right here. See how the balloon comes down. You got the nipple, right? And then it flanges out into the big part right here where it starts to flange is where you want to cut right across your balloon. Oh. Okay. So you've got like a little noisemaker left. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nobody could spit all over you. <laughs> so nice. You should so be. nice. You should be. <laughs> okay, now put your fingers in there and you're making like almost like a little miniature like swim cap. Again, <laughs> a very tiny little head. Okay, and place it right over top of the nipple. And... I like how you do this so everything so easily. Uh, <laughs> a few steps Wait, behind. Years and years of practice, my dear. Years and years of practice. And the people doing it in the video are probably like, oh, this is really easy. <laughs> now, don't be worried if you end up with a little extra smooch. That's okay, because that's going to get covered. Now, you should end up with like a little kind of bullseye, right? And yeah. there's, there's our little nipple on this side. That nipple is going to become our nose. So, we're going to take one more balloon because three is always more secure than two. And again, you're gonna cut it right below where it starts to flange out. And you're gonna have your covered, covered end down and your open end where you've got that little circle up. And then you make that little swim cap. And using your thumbs, you can really place this wherever you want. You want to try to get it over that little nipple nose. And oh, so it, the nose is... Yes, yeah, so that's the nose. So you want to kind of just with your fingers push it up and over so that you make a little mouth. See? Oh. It's a little mouth. And then you get to take your Sharpie pen and decorate and make your stressed out eyes. Oh. I'm making mine really stressed out. Well, because I'm really stressed out, I don't really want to think about stress, so I'm going to make mine really happy. Oh, okay. That like, I'm squeezing him. Like that feral song. Okay, there you go. I, I gave him my face. See, mine's really stressed out. He's like, no! <laughs> Your turn. All right, I need to try this. So here's a funny little thing, just while Connor's working here. If you ever run out of a rubber band, and guess what? You happen to have balloons around. Balloons make awesome rubber bands and not just this nipple tip here. You cut that mouth of the balloon off That makes a great oh, rubber what? band, right? Well, it, you know how rubber bands often like rot and tear apart. Will yeah, do that? Well, you know, they you know any rubber will eventually degrade. Did you know that? Eventually it will Do exactly what you said. It'll dry out and it'll get brittle and it will crack but It'll, it'll hold up for a long time. Wow. But not only those ends, check this out, Connor. Even the regular part of the balloon can make a good rubber band. Oh. I know, isn't that cool? You can make so many rubber bands from just one balloon. Exactly. So if you end up with some extra balloons, you can make rubber bands out of them. And they're really, they're really actually very, very good rubber bands. So if you're ever in a tight position, <laughs> like it's the end of the world, and you only have balloons and you need a rubber band, you can use your balloons. How's your stress? Oh, he's very nice. He's kind of a monster. He's, <laughs> he's had a really bad day. Just Let's see. Three today. Show ah. everybody. I love him. He's great. Ah. Sort of looks a little like Haley. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> Haley's a dog, by the way. So the other thing that you can do with these, if you make them a little bit smaller, is you can make them into juggling balls. Can you juggle? I can try. Give it a try. Stand back. I'm a professional. Awesome. Oh, it's better than I thought I would do. <laughs> For more ideas that won't leave you stressed out, <laughs> come and check us out at sophie-world.com. <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> I really do like that one. <laughs>